and welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm bringing you another haul. We are going to be reviewing and I'm going to be showcasing some of the top faux fur coats from Pretty Little Thing. It's that time of year where you can pull out your faux furs and your coats, especially here in LA. I feel like we get a, a very small window to be able to wear thick coats and jackets. So I always try to take advantage during this time, during the month of November and December, because other than that, it's always so hot here. If you guys are new here, welcome. I'm bringing you all the latest top fashion trends from all the online shops and boutiques so that you can make the right decision on whether you wanna buy some products or not. I'm here to review items for you guys to tell you if it's worth the money, if you should spend your money on it, if you should buy it or not, if you'll love it or hate it. I shouldn't use that word, hate. I don't like it. This little girl here, my dog wants to sleep right there. So, right there. <laughs> she does not want to leave my side ever. Pretty Little Thing is a very popular online shop from the UK that's become very big here in America. I think they even have a store here or an office. Anyway, they do pop-ups all the time in LA. Most of the things from Pretty Little Thing are great. I've loved a lot of their stuff, a lot of their materials. They are super affordable and keep in mind, they always have sales on. So if you want to buy something, I would just say never buy at full price. Always wait because I swear like every week they have a 50% off sale going on or some type of something. So just remember that when you're purchasing. Picked about four faux furs from Pretty Little Thing that I think are personally the best ones on the website, just according to my opinion. I've done a lot of research, reviewing, getting other people's opinions, looking at comments, looking at reviews, looking at photos of a ton of faux furs on the website. And I've narrowed it down to these ones, which I thought were the best. So if you're looking for your faux fur coat this holiday season, then keep watching this video and you might just find one. If you guys are here, you probably know what Pretty Little Thing is. So um, let's just get right into it. Should I start with... This is the teddy coat from Pretty Little Thing. Let me just step over my dog. <laughs> this is the teddy coat from Pretty Little Thing. Now, these coats have been super popular for the last, I want to say two years, maybe even three. Like, these are obviously dupes for higher end, but hey, whatever. I think Aloe Yoga has one of these, or maybe it's BCBG. Yeah, I think BCBG has one of these for like $1,000. Of course, it's probably much better fabric and material, but this one, I believe, is a hundred and something dollars. I'm not sure. I'll make sure to link everything down below so you guys can see. But this one... Hi, Monita! Hi, Monita! So cute. <laughs> I just maneuver around my dog. So they call this the teddy coat and it's this really cute up close now you can see hopefully i'm doing this video in 4k so i'm hoping the quality is a little bit better try to let me know if it is so that you know i can tweak to do what's best <laughs> for the viewers it's like really fluffy and teddy bear like i think that's why they call it the teddy coat because it really does look like a teddy bear um, so I, I believe they have this in other colors. I got the brown. This is the most popular one. What I love about this coat is that you can dress it up or dress it down. So you can literally wear this with like sneakers, any type of sneaker, and then like a workout outfit and then just throw this on and go. It's so cozy. It's so warm. Or you could wear this with a beautiful dress and wear it out on like a date night or to a nice event. So it is super versatile. You can wear this as an everyday jacket or for, you know, a special occasion. I'm going to try it on for you guys so you can see how it looks. This is a size UK 6, which is a US size 2 for me. Oh, she wants to sniff. <laughs> really luxurious. It's really warm. It has like this cuffing here that kind of folds over. That's a cute little detail. I'm just kind of noticing that. Yeah, so it looks like this. Excuse me. It goes almost right down to your ankles. Not quite, but almost. So it's definitely long enough. This 
There's lining in there. I don't know what it's filled with, but it is pretty thick and it's pretty warm. So that is the first one. I love this. A lot of use out of this. I literally wear this everywhere. In the mornings when it's chilly, at night when it's chilly. It's great because you can just throw it on and go. It does fit a little bit bigger, so I would suggest sizing down. I love the fit. Next, we are going with this beautiful gray faux fur with a beautiful satin finish on the inside. This one is definitely not your everyday wear. It's definitely something that you would wear to an event or a special occasion over a dress or a really classy outfit. You could even wear this out for dinner. What I love about this one is it's like, so they call this the bubble coat. This is the bubble plush faux fur coat. What I love about it is that it's like, so this is the bubbling on it. So it's like little patches here and there. If you look closely, you can see the fabric, but we just, <laughs> so this one doesn't have a collar or anything like that. It just goes, it's like cut right off of the neck and shoulder area. It's just really beautiful. I don't know what else to say about it. Let's try it on. Here is the gray plush bubble coat. Now they have a couple of these gray ones. Some are called plush faux fur material and some are just regular faux fur. So I'm gonna show you um, the difference in the black ones. Um, because one is plush and one is the regular. So you can see the difference between the plush and the quality and just like what that means. And the plush ones are a little more expensive um, because the fur is a lot softer and you'll be able to see that in a minute. Like I said, this one doesn't have a collar. It's cut right at the neckline. Just this hook closure you can see. So I never do up my faux furs, but you can do it up so it just closes like that and pulls in. So this is what it looks like. I definitely wear this out to dinner or to a really nice event if I stuck. I would definitely wear this to like a nice event or to a cocktail party or something like that. It just screams classy. I'm just obsessed with how the lining on the inside is like this silk satin look. I think that looks so pretty. It makes it look expensive. So I like to wear all my jackets just off my shoulders like that. I think that's really pretty. And then you can just kind of hug it and let it fall. So glamorous. <laughs> that is the plush bubble coat in gray. Moving on, I just purchased this black faux fur, which I feel like I needed because the holidays are coming up and these are gonna get needed. Let's just be real. That's why we need one in every color. When there's a sale on, we take advantage. This is another plush faux fur. Well, it's not bubble formed like the last gray, but it's so it's just like flat, straight faux fur. You guys can see up close. It's pretty good quality considering the price and the sales. <laughs> so this one does in fact have a collar. You can see it just, if you're really cold. This one is a little bit longer than the gray one, so it goes almost to the knee, I'm realizing. So it is a little bit longer, but again, with a beautiful gown and dress, this would look so nice and keep you warm. This one feels like it's more lined than the other ones. I'm not sure what the, oh, there they are. It will definitely keep you warm. And then because it's just so big, like you can just snuggle into it. I definitely recommend this one. There's so many options on the site, but I have gone through a ton of them and like read the reviews and tried to look at photos and other people's opinions. And I've come down to finding these are in fact the best ones. This one does have pockets. It has two pockets on the side. And this one is just a button closure. So there's the button. And just pin it together. Wear mine off the shoulder like this. I just think it's so elegant and pretty. So last but not least, we have this beautiful long maxi coat, robe-like coat. That's what I think it's called on the website. I don't remember, but I'll, I'll insert it here. So this one, they had two options in. They have the this in plush 
which is a little bit more expensive. I think it's like $40 more. Um, and then this one is just the regular faux fur. So you can definitely see and tell the difference, but this one is still so nice. And I feel like if you want to be more casual, like you can just wear this with a regular outfit, like jeans and sneakers or a workout outfit and just throw it on and go, like I said, in the mornings or the nights. So I do think that like it not being the plush material tones it down a lot. So it is more of like a casual look and like an everyday wear. Whereas I feel like if you got the plush version of this, it would be maybe a little bit too much to wear it every day, just like to the store, to the grocery store, or here or there. This, you can literally throw on and go to the grocery store, or go anywhere. So what I love about it is that it's belted, so you can just pull it tight like that. This one is the same length as the brown one, so it goes almost down to the ankles, just not quite. And then it does have two pockets. Here we are. Also, this one is the same cut as the black one I showed you before. So it has the collar, and then down here like that. So pretty. And then you're in charge of how tight you tie it. Perfect for the holidays. Again, you can dress this up or dress this down just like that brown one. So. So I do just want to show you guys up close so you can tell the difference between when, so on the side, if it says plush faux fur or if it does not say plush, then that's just the regular faux fur. So here is the difference between the plush and just the regular faux fur. So you can really kind of tell the difference. Well, not really on camera. I just feel like I can in person because I can feel it. The plush, I'm telling you, in person is so much softer. You can really feel it. Now, this, the regular faux fur still is soft, but I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. You kind of can. So this is the plush, and then this is the regular. It's a very, very light difference, but I can tell. Maybe it's just not coming across on camera. So this is the plush. And then this is just the regular. Light differences. It's just, I feel like the regular is more casual. All right, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my pretty little thing faux fur coat haul. If you guys have any questions, just leave it down in the comment section below and I will make sure to answer. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite faux fur? What color do you like? Which one would you wear? Are you gonna purchase one? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your holidays. I'm actually filming this on Thanksgiving, but it's not gonna go up until next week. So I just wanna say happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I hope that you are having an amazing time with your family, taking time for yourself, feeling all the love and the good vibes, and just taking some time off to just reflect, relax, and enjoy, because this is your life. Like I said last time, it all starts with you. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I bought this. I'm so tired. <sighs>